Hi, how are you guys? Hi. I'm just trying to figure out who you are, that's all. Oh, uh, okay. Um, we're just students. Students? Yeah, students. We're doing a course. For what? Doing a course. What, what kind of course is that? On human behavior. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Do you belong to the Scientology? Right. Oh. Okay. What do you know about it? What do I know about Scientology? Yeah. Um, I know you guys believe that we're reincarnated people. Is that correct? Okay. Um, well, I can tell you that it's just, um, you know, it's true for you, it's true for you. So each individual Scientologist kind of has their own um, beliefs. Okay. Um, so basically, that's like the whole uh, stable ideas that we have what's true for you is true for you and there's well well isn't doesn't the word truth mean like the degree to which a statement corresponds with reality so if one person believes something to be true it can't be true for them and not true for another person right because if you believe in reincarnation either happens or it doesn't right I mean it can't happen to one person not another person right I mean, True. in reality, people either get reincarnated or they don't, right? right? So if someone goes around and believes that they do get reincarnated, and someone goes around and says they don't get reincarnated, then someone's wrong. Mm -hmm. So right? Scientology also has some certain axioms. And what, what's that? Certain axioms. The axioms, right? Mm -hmm. So, so the right. reality, it's easier to be established if you have certain laws and agreements and axioms. Okay. So, what so you're does, trying to say reincarnation is an axiom? You just believe it to be true without um, questioning? Yeah, I would say there are certain axioms connected to the spiritual being and how the spiritual being operates when he leaves the body or before taking the body. Okay. So that's more a, a way of approaching something. But we could call it reincarnation. We don't call it reincarnation. But you believe some sort of like spirit or right, something like that. Right, the spirit would take a new body, right? So basically, the basic belief is that um, you are you, and you, you have, have your a body. body. You have a body, right? Right. You sometimes refer to your arm as your arm, or your leg as because oh, my it, leg hurts. Because it is. <laughs> right. Okay. And if you lose your leg, or you lose your arm, you're no less you, right? You're still you. Well, I'm me, I'm me without I'm, I'm me minus the arm or the leg. Yeah, but you yourself don't necessarily change it. Unless you define you as you as having an arm, and now you don't have an arm, so you're you without an arm. Right? Okay. Okay. But, like, would you be, like, any different as yourself? Like, would you be any less yourself if you didn't have a thumb? Uh, I would be... I would be less... Uh, capable of doing things without a thumb. Okay. So... Right? Right. And then, so yeah, so it's just basically you are you, and you have a body, and um, then you have a mind. It's so, like if you, like, close your eyes right now, and you think of maybe like a cat. Right? Okay. You just get a picture. I like, close your eyes. Well, no, you can just tell me I'm not. Okay, there. yeah, okay. So, like, you can get a picture of, like, a cat. Yeah. So that's just what we refer to as, like, okay, that's the mind. Okay, the mind just is... Just the pictures. The that, mind is the product of a working brain, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, do you guys concern yourselves at all with, like, the whole spirit thing? Do you concern yourselves at all with, like, showing that it's true, or you just believe in it? Showing that it's true? Showing yeah. that... It's, that it's spirits are real? Spirits are what? The spirits are real? You guys ever, like, concerned about that? Um... Well, I mean, if you want to, I mean, I don't want to give you a lot of um, my own beliefs okay. on it. I'd like, I mean, if you want to know so more. So people's beliefs can can differ on that greatly. Do um, some people are Scientologists and they don't believe in reincarnation? Um, I mean, it is, yeah, it is, it's, it's totally up to the person. Um, I will say that a majority of them do. Do believe in reincarnation? Do believe in reincarnation. It's up to their reality. You know, what they agree upon is real to them. Okay. So, um. There's some really great videos in the church. It's just right down there. Yeah, I've it's seen it uh, passing by. It's a pretty, pretty big building there. Yes, yeah, yeah. You guys yeah, it's must make a lot of money or something to afford something like that. It's uh, successful. Yeah, it yeah. money helps people. Form of energy. What you need to do is 
to survive. So and what's that? Money is a form of energy. What you need to survive. So form of you, energy. If you want, never heard it called that, but yes, okay. It is. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's just the means of, of keeping it of keeping it going. It's a form of exchange. No, I, I've heard some some strange beliefs that you guys have other than the reincarnation thing. Oh really? Yeah. What? Like uh, some people that used to be part of Scientology come back and said that once they reach some get what it's called OT3 level or something like that they are told that the real core belief of Scientology is some galactic evil galactic empire overlord named Xenu sent disembodied spirits to the planet Earth 75 million years ago Sounds and wild. The, the, they're all in, yeah, wow. <laughs> and they're all inhabited by these spirits, which causes us unhappiness and grief and things like that. Sounds a bit confusing. Have you heard yeah, of that? So if it's a confusing, it's more like a mishmash of something, you know, it's like... So it's, it's not, not true? Not, it's, it's not true? This is a confusing I, yeah, information. I've never, I've never heard but that. But uh, quite a few ex-Scientologists came out and said that. They said, they, they said that some, some people either believe in it well, I question it or, or just accept it because they spent so much money already and they said some people accept it because during their like what was it called some sort of sessions they have where they're made to believe that their memories or their 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 imagination and memories and they used to be like space pirates or whatever something to do with the transition of those spirits to here and that they did awful things and stuff like that so they already believe that they already did some things in the past that are incredible so they don't have a problem in accepting that it's, it's confusing it doesn't really help a person to be more free or to have a more happier life and the purpose of Scientology is to make you to understand the laws of life the laws of life but doesn't, doesn't psychology that? offer us that? no psychology doesn't even study the spirit psychology doesn't study the spirit no well you know a lot of people say that the spirits aren't real so in order to study it as a science don't we have to know that it's real first before we can study it right well that's what i mean i can i can demonstrate to you okay um like i said like the example of uh so if you close your eyes right okay picture a cat yes so what I'm trying to say is if who's looking at the cat? If your eyes are if your closed, eyes are closed, then you're well, not. Well, there your is body. no cat. It's a concept of a cat. Yeah, but who's looking? Okay, at who's it? looking at it? What's the point? No one who's looking at a concept. You yeah. can't really look at a concept. Concept is, is in the brain. But who can see that? Who is the person? Well, who you can't see it because you see your it. eyes aren't in your brain. You're imagining it, so you can't see it. But okay. somehow you still so see it, no? So. Yeah, so if you're imagining it, yes. right, so you have this concept, this idea, and you're looking at it, right? So well, I'm not really looking at it, I'm conceptualizing it. Okay, so then who's viewing that conceptual... No one's viewing it. So who's conceptualizing I'm imagining it. Yeah, who's it. Con who's so conceptualizing who it? I am. Okay, good. So that's you. My that's you. working that's brain. That's all we're saying. Right. Okay. That's all that's we're awesome. saying is that you are you, and I'm you not can sure call what it a you and you means, you can, but... You are well, you, okay, you are so you're calling a functioning brain a spirit. No. The brain is different than the mind. Well, the brain yeah. is what's doing the conceptualizing, right? A working brain causes the conceptualization. Don't go much in the brain. You're talking about the mind. Yeah. Well, the mind's the f product of a working brain, is it not? That's not how we... It's not? So the mind is separate from the brain? That's right. So, you don't, so if we didn't have a brain, we still have a mind? Is that what you believe? Is that what all scientists believe? Scientologists believe? Um, we believe again, that the mind is also energy and it's mental pictures and mental okay. energy. Well, everything is energy. I mean, energy becomes matter. That's how we have matter. It used to be energy and now it's matter. So Why? so the mind is separate from the brain. It's not because of the brain that the mind's there. Is that mm -hmm. what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. And why do you believe that? Um, well, my reality, and it might be different than hers, okay. um, my reality is that, like I said, I'm a spirit. And I am myself, and um, I, like I said, the mind uh, has these mental image pictures that um, I can then use to like draw conclusions, like maybe from the past, right? Like maybe as a kid I learned how to walk, right? And I, I draw from those mental image pictures on how to walk, and I use that with my body, and I go, okay, great, so I'm gonna go walk, and I decide that, and using those 
past times, I go, okay, yeah, I remember how to walk. Maybe not like always consciously every time I walk, right? But I draw from past conclusions and decisions and okay, this is how I walk. So, I mean, that's just one example. Um, but okay. that's my own reality on it. And uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, you see like Scientology is very wide. So it depends which area of life well, is Well, what about in. someone that cares about the truth? I check it out. I check out Scientology. Because Scientology in itself, well, it's, it's, I'll just break down the word for you. It's Logi, right? Which is the study of. The study of science. The study of, no, it's actually the study of knowing about no, it's things. No, it's just no. science. Science means to know. Right. right. So you're just studying how to know about things. If so that was, know about yourself. if that was true, mm-hmm. and we're talking about spirits and stuff, mm-hmm. shouldn't we be looking into the evidences of the spirit before we believe in them? Right, but you experience, you make your own experience, like when you. But study your experience study. is an evidence of of a spirit, is it? I mean, it's just your experience. Well, what you decide is an evidence. You well, have to have something scientific, right? You right. believe in science and scientific evidence, right? Right. Yeah, and I can. Yes, but there, but. That's what you learn in Scientology, so you understand. You learn what? What is the spirit? The basic axioms. Yeah, the basic axioms help you to understand because that is based off of science. The founder. Spirits are based off of science. Like the basic axioms. Yeah, the basic axioms. The founder. Would you say the founder? Um, I was just gonna say the the founder was um, a nuclear physicist, and he was very well educated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wasn't he a science fiction writer? Also, but yes. he was professional in at least 20 areas, and one of them was. Didn't he also engineer. say that the best way to make a lot of money is to create your own religion? Did he say that once? Never heard that. Never heard that. Never, never seen that? it in writing. Oh. Somebody else might have said it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I, 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 I like I like I like studying, you know, what's true and stuff like that. But um, you know, when it comes to like. When it comes to things like spirits, stuff like that, that we really don't have any evidence for, I'm kind of weary. Because if, if some religion is going to have anything to do with spirits or reincarnation or something like that, that makes it very questionable to me. And, and I don't know why anyone would, would bother with something unless they have something that's concrete. Because, I mean, science does not acknowledge the existence of spirits at all. But you guys say that there are it, but then you even say that there's an axiom about it. But how can you have an axiom about a spirit? But that's why I'm telling you, in order to have evidences, you need to have the basic information of what is actually a spirit or what is actually spiritual energy. Because maybe you think a spirit is this white thing going around hunting castle, but that's not what I'm thinking about when I say spirit. Okay, okay, I understand that. But in order to have information on a spirit, don't you need to have evidence of one? I mean, right, how, how else do you know about a spirit unless you have evidence of a spirit? Well, but that's the point. When you study Scientology or you are taking part in the service, what is called auditing, this is when... Auditing, yeah, that's what it's called, So yes. this is where you can experience the existence of your operation as a spiritual being. This is not is that where somebody... they get you to think that your imagination are really is really your past this experiences? Is not about, this, this is a very professional, like the person who is working with you is a professionally trained person. Uh-huh. And it's not about anybody making you to believe something. It's you or guided through something and you can make your own conclusions and observations. Yeah, it's all about your own conclusions. And, and that's why the first rule in Scientology is about this. It's about your own conclusions? So you believe in what you want to when it comes to Scientology? It's, it's what's true for you is what's true for you. So, but then we're back to the thing about it's truth. And it can't be true for one person, not for another. You see, we are dealing here with some missing information, which yeah. we cannot give you. It's you can't give me. Okay. No, it's not going to <laughs> happen <laughs> here. So it's hard to have the discussion because it's a missing reality. Okay, and once missing you have reality. The, and once you have that reality, it's... You know, then you have an understanding. You mean you evidence? Have, yes. So, so you guys have evidence of spirits in it's that building? For myself, I have, I have for my own. For so your, you own. your own. So nothing you can, can pass around to other people? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not true. It's, it's listen, not true? I totally understand how where you're coming from. Like, yeah. like, when I first got in, I was like, spirits? What the heck? Like, right. this is nuts, right? Mm-hmm. But now you believe in spirits. And 
totally had my own reality on it, and I well, like, no, no, no. was able... You don't live in a separate reality from me. We both live in the same reality. Oh, totally. But, like, I agree on different things maybe that you agree on, right? Like, maybe I agree more money should be spent on something else than you think more money should be spent. It's just... Okay. That's right. It's just different agreements. So... Anyways, I totally understand where you're coming from. Like, I, like, was like, this... So, like, okay, so now you believe in spirits? Yeah, I okay. do. And so, when someone asks you for evidence of a spirit, what would you say to them? I would say, go into the org and um, check it out. So go to a website would be your would be your response. Yeah, because you yeah, think go that's to the sufficient. Org. No, your website is the first step. You would get the basic information, but then to experience it, it's when you get service. It's when you, you get a service and you understand. Trust me on this. Go into the you org. Don't, you don't think that when someone asks you for evidence of something, you should have a response that's coherent and intelligible? Right. Oh, I do. I totally do. So then if I ask you for evidence of something that you say is real, it's you should bit, be able to give me a response. Right, but it's a, bit, it's a bit hard. I will tell you, it's, it's a bit hard because Scientology, as I said, it's a very wide subject. And normally, is it wide or is it confusing? No, I said wide. And just let me finish. Uh, usually when a person comes in, has already his own reality where he has questions on, like, let's see a mother comes in who, handle, who wants to handle some problems with children, and once she's using the data, what she learned, then she can experience, oh, that works, and that works on a spiritual level, and that helps me to get along much better with my child, and for her, that's it. Okay, and, okay but and, you would still need evidence of a spirit. But, you know, this is a matter of, okay, if that's the main subject you're interested on, you can get the information. But So you guys don't have that information? Even though books. you believe it, it's true, you don't have the information? We do, but you I do. cannot get you to several books or several hundreds of pages where it's It takes several covered. books to tell me a short little synopsis of the evidence for a spirit? It's, really? Yeah, it's, we are going because if, if you yeah. if you believe in something, you can have well the evidence is this or that. Right. Like if someone believes that like the age of this rock is thirty thousand years old, you say, well, I would use you know radioactive uh, um, uh, decay you know, or carbon mm -hmm. dating or something like that to show and exactly you can explain. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's got to be the same kind of question. You know, right. if I ask someone something specific, what they believe in, if I you know, you should be able to give a response that has some scientific basis on it, other than referring me to right. And website. But if you guys totally can't answer that, sorry, I'll stop well, bothering you. That's no, totally I just, valid. It's just know. not going yeah. to happen on this street. We're not going to give not you gonna, the science. Because it's too much to give me, right? Right. Too much to it's give It's like me. asking someone for a, you know, the integral of some, you know, bridge So you think it's a complex or... question? No, I'm just, what like, I'm just saying complex? it might not take more than five seconds to totally explain it to you on the screen. So that's why I'm saying if you have some time, go into the org. Okay. Do you guys know about the OT3 level? You heard about it? You know how the levels work over there? Yes. Do you think do. you'll ever attain it? No question. Yeah. Knowing that it'll take quite a bit of money to get there, and once you reach there, are you going to remember today when I told you that these ex scientologists told, told everyone about Xenu and the galactic evil warlord? Yeah. Are you going to remember this? And are you, when you're presented with that, are you going to have any question as to its validity, if that's true? Well, you see, you just said the word. You said ex. So, you said ex scientologists. Well, what does that mean? What does it matter whether they're ex scientologists or not? Well, it means a lot. How does that mean a it's lot? It's a big difference. So, if you're an ex scientologist, that means you were lied to the whole time or something, or what? I would not rely on people who are. Okay, so they're all corrupt. Large. I didn't so they all so got I just, information. I wouldn't rely on someone who says that all Mormons, um, you know, have five wives because if you actually go oh, to the Mormon not. Bible, oh, of course not. That's and not then, a fair analogy. That's not a fair analogy. Okay, so hey, they, I'm just saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to someone who was maybe a Mormon or an ex-Mormon who has like several wives and say, well, yeah, all Mormons do this and all Mormons do that. And well, they'll have a good believe. idea of what Mormons do more than someone who's not a Mormon or never was a Mormon, won't they? Yeah, but wouldn't okay, you but go that, to that's, the that's text? What I'm, talking about. I'm just saying I would just go to the text. Like I would go to, okay, what do Mormons believe in? Are they operating off of the Bible? Sure. Okay, let me go to the sure. Bible and read that. So right. it's the same thing I'm saying. Just go in, if you want to go into the org, if you want to get mm -hmm. pick up Dianetics or some book to read, Dianetics, you can definitely okay. check that out and get your own reality on it. And I wouldn't my go own, off. There of, you go, my own reality. 
your own I don't your own people don't have their own, uh, own the own interpretation of reality as presented by Scientology or presented by the books I would the just books go off of Scientology that's right okay so I just check that out and uh, all right thank you for that you're welcome we're gonna get some food now okay, okay. all right bye-bye okay. Well, there you have it. I got my interview with a couple of uh, crackpot Scientologists. I had a nice video before, um, but unfortunately, it was saved on a. I had a 128 gig SD card in my phone, and when I made a video, it wasn't saving the video correctly, so I can't put a 120 gig SD card in my phone anymore, so I put 32 gig. So I lost that really good video recording, which I'm kind of upset about. Uh, this one, uh, I try to be a little more docile and uh, um, uh, try to um, get some more uh, questions out of them. Um, as you can see, um, she admitted that most Scientologists believe in reincarnation. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that's true. And with the whole auditing thing, I'm sure you guys heard about how that goes down. It is true that they too try to make you think that what you believe in is actually, what you actually imagine is actually true and a part of your past, and you guys can be more of that in line, but uh, these Scientologists are all over the place over here at uh, the hospital here, and uh, you know, if you guys don't know about Scientology, it's, it's a pretty crazy, whack-out religion where um, uh, they denounce psychology and all forms of it, and only their way is the only way, and, and uh, so I would no. seriously, uh, if you guys want to be able to debate these people and know what they're about, do a little studying, um, they're saying that the stories aren't true, that are on, uh, that I read about, that I said to them, but uh, um, apparently you really can't, you really can't dismiss all of the um, ex- religious stories that come from the people that used to be, I mean, they're, the logic's pretty bad if they're going to say that, well, uh, you should, you should not listen to anyone who used to be a Scientologist, as if everything they have to say is incorrect, doesn't make, is, is false information. Why would ex-religious people give false information? I mean, what would cause them to do that? Were things so right and so good in Scientology, someone rubbed them the wrong way, they left and decided to lie about Scientology? Oh, and all their lies kind of match up with each other? Yeah, no. Uh, these people are just uh, confused. Uh, they don't know the truth of their own religion. Uh, they feel that they will... They feel that they will reach, reach that OT3 level which will cost them a lot of money. And then when they hear this bullshit that everyone hears, I wonder what they will say or do. So there you have it, uh, Ted the Atheist. I'm not afraid to approach or dissect any religion. Uh, it just happens to be that Christianity is very popular in this uh, country full of idiots. So um, uh, I run to that mostly. So you know, I, I run to Christians, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, uh, but here I Scientologists all over the place. I got my interview. Uh, you know, I'll look for Muslims uh, if I can. You know, I'll do anything. I really don't care. Um, but don't be afraid to speak up when someone says something somewhere. Because the only way we're going to combat the ignorance going around here is to say something. It's very important we do that. It's Ted the Atheist. Logic. <laughs>